And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another episode of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. I am Mario, and you cannot see Mala right now, but he is with me as well. When we last left off, we were going to chase down a crocodile that stole Mallow's coin, and Mallow's apparently a frog. Where did he go? He went to Bandit's Way, of course. Where else would a bandit go? And there he is. Get him. That's what I just said. Kind of. Yeah, Mallow, why don't you go home to Mommy? He raises a good point. Holy crap, we have a new enemy. I did not expect that. So, yeah, this Goomba is loaded. Um, I'm gonna take on the, the new enemy first. This is a frog dog. And boom, instantly got the timing down. And that's not enough to kill him. And yes, I do have the timing down for Mallow as well. Ah, you missed. The hell was that? Ah, uh, you need to die. Is that enough to kill you? It is. And HP is max once again. Uh, can you kill the spiky guy? Not enough, no. So you kill the spiky guy, and then Mallow should be enough to kill off the Goomba. Yes. And that is game. And they both give us a peace sign. This is just weird with the peace sign. And Mario levels up once again. A nice level up, I must say. And I learned Fire Orb, which is awesome. What can I get? Uh, attack goes up by 2, HP by 3, and, uh, okay. Star goes up by 1, so let's go for power! Mallow does not level up though, because he sucks. I don't know if I'll be showing level up screens from now on. I'll probably show Mallow's first one, and then that's pretty much it after that. Oh, uh, you have a save point here if you need it. Uh, looks like this is the last enemy. Alright, is that it? That. No, well, there's him, but forget him. We've had enough of those guys already. What do you mean I can't jump to save my life? Oh, he stole a coin! That dick, I am the guy that gets coins around here. And I will show you. Wow. I failed at the flower jump. There we go. Alright, this one's kind of a little weird. You go here, and then it kind of twirls. And then if you can get all of them... Come on, I want all of them. There we go. Make it to the other side, you get... Nothing! So let's fight these guys. These are new guys. What are they? They're kind of wolfy things. They're canines. Of course they are. Oh, six damage. And you die now. Down he goes, let's take down the spiky, and that should do it. Does Mallow get a level up because of this? No, he does not. Let's take on this other one then. Alright, and now we're ready to move on. And yes, this is another infinite spawn. Never understood that. I mean, if you guys need to level up that bad, uh, you're playing the wrong game. Although, when I did face this game, I'll, I'll show you the point where I lost. Uh, it is actually very pathetic. Um, I actually rented this game, I had to go, yeah, like I said, I had to go back to beat this game years later. And I'll give you a hint, it's coming up real soon. Is there anything down here? Come on. And he runs off. So let's fight this guy. And here we have Mallow's first level up screen. You can see he kind of has more magic attack. He's mostly a magic attacker. He does get HP ring, so he is our first mage of the game, and he is pretty much a red mage. He does a little bit of black and white magic. What can we get here? Wow, it goes up by three, goes up by four, goes up by one. I'm gonna go for the power. All right. So then we're gonna move on. Nope, we're gonna fight a Goomba. All right, now we're ready to move on. 
out to a canine who's guarding a treasure chest. I, I like treasure chests. And what's in this treasure chest of glory? A uh, mushroom. Fair enough. It's still early in the game. Wow, is that not enough for it to hit me yet? Fine. There we go. And in that battle, I did get a flower that said attack up. Once again, that's a battle long only thing, so it works similar to Pokemon. You, know, you, you can get the attack up, but it only works for the battle that, that, the battle that you're using it in. Um, okay, let's see what was in that one. Can I get it from here? Come on. Nice. Alright, so how stars work in this game? You're pretty much invincible just like any other Mario game, except you do get levels for everything that you... Or you do get experience for every time that you kill one of these creatures. And so we did get a level up for Mario, Mario Legion's level 4, because of our little star spending freeze. Spending free spree. What am I trying to say? I fail at it no matter what. Uh, looks like HP is gonna be the one this time. Four HP. Let's do it. No. Nothing for Mallow. All right. I'm gonna fight this thing now. Die. All right. So now let's work to get that treasure chest. It will take me a little while to do it, so I'm gonna do it off screen. So I will be right back. All right. What do we have in here? Can I get it? Yes. It's a. Flower and I'm not gonna bother fighting those things. I've fought enough of them with the star. What's going on here? Okay, he's going to go hide. Okay, so I'm gonna get this treasure chest here, which is a mushroom, and then I'm gonna fight all these enemies off screen and I'll meet you back once I've done that. Alright, I do believe that is all of the enemies. And let me just try to sneak up. Oh, I didn't sneak up behind them. Those guys are actually infinite spawn. Those Goombas that pop out. So I'm just going to try to avoid them. And this guy sucks at hiding. What? When he says that, that means that I snuck up in front of him. Yeah. Well, you have to sneak up behind him. Ugh. This is just getting annoying. And he runs. Oh, come on. He keeps turning around. There we go. It'll take you a hundred more years to catch me. Yeah, whatever, dude. Ta da. Found you. Fifty more years. Oh, well, apparently we've narrowed it down by half just by catching him one more time. It'll take you 25 years. Ah, screw that. Mallow says no, you've been denied. I was lying! And he jumps into us for boss time! Alright, so I did level up uh, Mala once again, and so this should be a pretty easy fight. What I'm gonna do here is go for the fire orb on Croco. You have to tap Y, you have to mash it. There we go! How much does that do? 74, that's pretty good. Youch is right. Um, he does have Thunderbolt, but it's not really worth it at this point. I'm going to save the MP for HP range, so I'm just going to go for an attack here. Even though it only does 6 damage. Alright, let's go for another Fire Orb. And this is actually... When I first played the game, this is actually the boss that killed me. I was unable to get past this boss, and it was because I did not know how to play RPGs at all. What I was doing was avoiding all enemies at any cost, uh, so I never leveled up, pretty much. I think I found him at level 2, maybe? I think I'm at level 3 or level 4 now. And considering where I was at that time, you know, I, I look back and I'm like, wow, really? I didn't know what I was doing? No, no, I didn't. Of course, he heals himself 60. That is so not cool. Bosses are not allowed to heal themselves. So I hit him in the face with the hammer to try to knock some sense into him. No healing. Oh, but I miss. But 
How can you miss with a hammer? Just chuck it at him, you'll hit him. I still don't have the timing of those down. I don't know when the timing of the defense on the bombs is, if there even is a timing for it. Uh oh. I'm gonna risk it. Go for it! Uh, you can do an HP right now, I guess. On Mario. I have to hit Y repeatedly. Let's go! Why? Uh, 29. Heals him up anyways. Good thing I did that too. And we should be getting close here to the end. Nine more damage there. Still got one more hit left in him. And that is it! And Mal just runs up, or he'll belt him again, and he belts him right in the face, and then he gets hit in the head with the coin. He's gonna pay you back in spades, kids! You see? And apparently he was a Mexican crocodile. Adios, amigos. And we get eight experience points for that? That's it? What? And we get a wallet! Sweet! Let's rob it for all the money and credit cards in it. Nah, it's for the guy, isn't it? Okay, and here they, br they bring in an awesome part of this game that I wish they would put in other games. This is just pretty much an exit right here. Uh, you jump on it and it warps you back to the beginning of the dungeon. Let's go ahead and use it. And here we are at the beginning of the dungeon next to the save point. Uh, but what will happen when we go into Mushroom Kingdom? We have to wait and find out next time as Mario hides behind this little block here. Because I am ending this part right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. I hope to hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.